In this video, I will explain what double spending is and why third parties are used and why we shouldn't use third parties. In 1983, eCash was conceived by David Chom as an anonymous cryptographic electronic money. It worked as follows. This is a simplified explanation. A bank created the electronic money, which are cryptographically signed. The digital money contained a unique ID, also known as token. Users can purchase this digital money. Bob wants to buy things from Alice's shop. He sends her the required eCash value. Having received the payment, she sends the eCash to the issued bank and waits for acceptance. The bank checks if the eCash token has not already been spent. Alice sends the goods after the bank has informed her that the eCash is valid. In 1989, the use of eCash was abandoned mainly because credit cards was the consumer's choice for payment. The eCash system needed a third party, in this example a bank, to check if the digital money is not double spent because electronic files can be easily duplicated. In this drawing, Bob sends Alice digital money and Alice sends his digital money to the bank to check if the digital money is not being double spent. If it is not double spent, Alice sends Bob the product. The double spending problem is the main problem you need to solve if you introduce a new electronic money scheme. In this drawing, Eve is double spending because she sends the same cash to both Alice and Bob. This problem can be solved by using an online central trusted third party that can verify whether a token has been already spent. This party can be a bank, broker or any entity which facilitates interactions between two parties who both trust the third party. However, there are disadvantages using third parties. Here are a few disadvantages using third parties related to financial services. The 2008 financial crisis, where several banks failed, teaches us that there is no such thing as a trusted third party. They fail because of mismanagement, greed, or they can be involved in illegal bank activities. Half of the adults around the world doesn't have access to financial services because the financial institutions are too far away and or too expensive to use. Third parties are commercial entities and they will charge fees for their services. If you invent a new electronic money, one of the goals is to make it accessible and payable to anyone in the world. Third parties have the power to suspend customer accounts. For example, in 2010, PayPal has suspended WikiLeaks' donation account and froze its assets. PayPal claims WikiLeaks to encourage others to engage in illegal activity. This was not a result of a legal process, but rather a result of fear of falling out of favor with Washington. Third parties can deny or limit access to your assets. For example, in 2015, Greek banks limited cash withdrawals because of the rush on the banks. The Greeks grew fearful of the possibility of an economic collapse. But there is a solution solving the double spending problem without the use of a third party. Bitcoin was the first application which has solved the double spending problem without the use of a central trusted third party. Satoshi Nakamoto conceived Bitcoin and created its original reference implementation. Satoshi Nakamoto solved the double spending problem using a technology what is now called today the blockchain technology. The system is based on cryptographic proof instead of trust. Blockchain technology was originally used as a cryptocurrency for payment transaction between two parties. But nowadays it can be used for example in notary services, identity services, voting, etc.